Hi everyone, my name is Sifu Liao Yong. Today I'm very very happy because you know I got Sifu Suki come to my studio and we are going to do some filming about internal martial arts. So actually a lot of people they talk about Wing Chun is Wing Chun internal martial art or Wing Chun is external martial arts. So Sifu Suki, what do you think about Wing Chun? Is it internal or external? No, absolutely. I really uh, I believe that Wing Chun is internal. Um, if we look at the story of Wing Chun or the legend of Wing Chun, mm -hmm. the uh, it's based on the fact that the weaker um, Wing Chun is able to overcome a much stronger yes. uh, opponent. So the only uh, way we can do that is mm -hmm. uh, we will first we have to address the balancing power yeah. or the imbalancing yes. power there. So uh, the only way we can really do that, in my opinion, is to use an internal engine. Uh, otherwise, the alternative is that we have to be faster or uh, more skillful than, yes. than the opponent. And I really can't see uh, system of Wing Chun based on the fact that we have to be yes. faster or more skillful than yes. the opponent. Yes, basically, I mean, totally agree with you because um, I've been doing Wing Chun for over 20 years and been doing different external martial arts. And I found, you know, um, if I just rely on the speed and the footwork, you know, in Wing Chun, sometimes it's not enough, you know, when we're fighting to a younger person, faster person, stronger person. So, and then I, I'm looking for other solution. So I'm looking into different internal martial arts like Seng Yi, Bagua, and Tai Chi, etc, etc. So I, I, I realized, you know, if I'm able to apply internal martial art into the Wing Chun system, it really benefit a lot, you know, because I don't have to be the strongest person and I don't have to be the fastest person. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree with this point. Mm -hmm. So how about uh, in this episode, we're going to explain uh, to our audience how the stand work, how the Yiji Kim Yama in Wing Chun work. Okay, yes, uh, for today we have Sylvester's kindly come down yes. and taking time with work to help us. That's great, yeah. So in a minute we are going to do some demonstration. Hope you like it. Thank you. If we look at what the difference between an internal engine and an external engine is, what I'll do is that uh, with the help of Sylvester, I'll show you uh, uh, the physics of how an internal engine works. Now, if we're using external power, what's happening is that when I'm contracting my muscles, the energy goes into the body. And the difference with the internal engine is that energy goes away from my spine. So what's going to happen is that if Sylvester, if I, if I just let Sylvester hold me with both arms here using uh, an, an external using power here, if I try to resist with the external power, I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. So already there's a, a difference uh, in, in, in power that I need to address. Now, if we, if, if we, Sylvester does exactly the same, but this time, I'm just going to use an internal engine. Basically, the internal engine is just really me stretching my arms. So what happens is that when he holds me, if I just stretch my arms, I have a freedom of movement now, whereas before, if I was using an external engine, I wouldn't have had any freedom to, to move at all. So really, what it boils down to is that when he holds my hand here, even though he's, if you use a stronger arm there, if he's holding my hand here, if I stretch energy away from my body, energy's not going into me. And if he's not going into me, he doesn't, it's not so easy for him to control me because he does not have access to my spine. So again, when he pushes from here, because I'm able to push energy away from my spine, then I have at least the, uh, a method whether I can address the power difference. Thank you, Smith. Hi everyone. My way, uh, internal way, is a little bit different to Suki, but it still works. The way I do is either I will absorb the power, bring it into the ground, or use the ground as a rebox and then send the person away. Right? So for example, if you grab me here, right, he's, you can see he got all the muscle. If I fight external, I can't do it. But if I relax, I bring the energy into my body and into the ground, so he push me, I bring it down. So I can put the energy down, then he lose his balance. Or another way is I uplift him because all the people, you know, um, the muscular strength you can't deal with two directional force. So I use my hip to produce upward and forward force at the same time. So I will create an uplift force like this. So when he comes to push me, I can just uplift him and send him away. Most important is both methods I still keep my arm relaxed and I let my energy from my body to deal with it rather than I have to tense my arm to use my arm muscle. Okay, thank you.